Hi guys, today is uh, February 8th, 2021, and uh, futures are pointing to a higher open. Uh, quiet uh, morning on Wall Street, uh, not many news, as uh, actually a day after the Super Bowl. Congratulations, by the way, to Tampa Bay Buccaneers and uh, uh, Tom Brady. And uh, actually, uh, Janet Yellen, who is the new Treasury Secretary, uh, said that uh, was the new uh, stimulus package, uh, $1.9 trillion stimulus package, we could achieve uh, full employment next year. So uh, that's about uh, the only news uh, uh, around and uh, also uh, pretty much Tesla's buying uh, Bitcoin. Uh, that's big news, uh, actually buying $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. So uh, uh, that's about it uh, uh, on the major news. And uh, if we jump to SPY, ETF or S&P 500, and it looks like SPY is uh, uh, quietly going higher, but uh, uh, but uh, I would be, uh, I mean, it, it's a little bit too high, too stretched for me, but it looks like it's uh, creeping higher. So as uh, many funds uh, that uh, actually could not get into the, into this market uh, <clears throat> last year and in January are still trying to get into this market. So uh, SPY is going higher and so is uh, uh, QQQ and uh, other indices. So um, good times uh, to be in the market right now. So let's jump to stocks. And before we do that, if you want to see my trades on pretty much everyday uh, basis, you can check out the Patreon link in the description of this video. And uh, drop me a like if you, uh, if you could, uh, as it helps me with the YouTube algorithm. So let's start with uh, Apple. Okay, so Apple uh, is lower actually because uh, it was uh, over the weekend there was the news that uh, Apple and Hyundai uh, and their partner Kia uh, talks uh, about developing a, a, a electric vehicle uh, is broken down and earlier Hyundai w uh, reported that uh, they were in talks with uh, Apple uh, about developing an uh, electric vehicle but uh, it looks like uh, it's not going to happen that relationship at least but Apple is uh, constantly shopping other uh, uh, actually autom autom automobile uh, makers and uh, uh, who knows they may uh, they may actually announce another partnership uh, with another auto automobile maker other than Hyundai and uh, Kia but I, as far as I know Hyundai and Kia shares are falling in Asia but uh, uh, Apple is also lower but uh, I would actually buy Apple on this weakness uh, and uh, if the shares of Apple uh, is lower I would be uh, a buyer of Apple uh, so uh, that's it CCIV Okay. Okay. See, CCIV is uh, actually battleground stock, as uh, it was uh, reported earlier that uh, uh, Churchill Capital and uh, is uh, about to, to be uh, uh, merged with <coughs> Lucid Motors. Uh, Lucid Motors is the electric vehicle company, and uh, uh, it was uh, it was reported, I believe, by Bloomberg that. Uh, they will be going public through uh, Churchill Capital, which is a SPAC, and uh, you have to be uh, brave to stay in this uh, in this SPAC. But uh, the rewards could be big, uh, as uh, if they announce uh, a partnership, that uh, the stock may actually jump uh, higher. But who knows when they will announce this partnership? I mean, they could be tomorrow, they could be uh, a week from now, it could be. Uh, at the end of February, March, who knows? So uh, you have to have a lot of uh, courage to stay in the stock. And uh, but I would say that uh, there is no uh, fire uh, was not there's no smoke without fire. So there's something happening here. But who knows? Maybe uh, it could be broken down, just like uh, uh, Hyundai and Apple. Uh, but or it could go ahead. So you have to have a lot of courage to stay in the stock. But uh, could it could be a big rewards actually for uh, uh, for staying in the stock so uh, i don't know yeah it depends on your risk tolerance to stay in the stock or not cciv but i like the stock frankly i like the stock gm okay staying with electric vehicle uh, theme uh, and uh, gm had a, a bunch of uh, advertisement uh, yesterday during the super bowl for their new lincoln uh, ev uh, that's gonna come out uh, i believe uh, in the beginning of uh, 2021 22 and uh, they're expediting uh, the uh, delivery of that uh, uh, ev as it's an important step for gm as they promised uh, to phase out all uh, uh, combustion engine vehicles by 2021 2035 and that's a huge step for them so uh, i am very bullish on gm actually and i think the shares uh, 
go higher. They invested $22 billion, more than any other uh, manufacturer in EV production and EV developments. And uh, I actually uh, like GM here, and uh, the chart uh, actually supports that. Uh, supports that, and uh, I would be buying GM even uh, uh, as it trades like around $56. So I think it's a, it's a good buy for me. Okay, Tesla. Well, the biggest news for Tesla is Tesla is higher is that uh, they're buying uh, a Bitcoin. They bought uh, $1.5 billion uh, in Bitcoin in January. And uh, Bitcoin is higher today at the all-time high because Tesla was buying it. <clears throat> but in general, uh, a pretty good setup for Tesla. I mean, it's been trading in a flat line pretty much uh, for a while. And uh, this could break out uh, higher and go to like $1,000. Uh, I would be actually a buyer of Tesla here. Peloton. Okay, so Peloton shares are a little bit lower, but uh, they actually reported uh, a double the consensus estimates and reported 18 cents per share on Friday. Uh, revenue came in above as well, to, uh, but to reduce shipping delays, it's putting off uh, the launch of a new treadmill while it's focusing on cutting down uh, delivery times. And uh, actually, that took down stock of Peloton uh, on Friday. And uh, I think it's a, if it's lower today, I think it's a pretty good pickup for Peloton as uh, this delays uh, will uh, resolve eventually and uh, the stock will go eventually higher. And I actually like Peloton and uh, I think, uh, again, it's a, a bell ground stock and many people say that uh, once uh, the gyms open, Peloton will not be needed. I would say otherwise. I think uh, Peloton is here to stay and I think the shares will go higher actually. Snap. Okay, shares of Snap a little bit lower today, but they, they beat Wall Street estimates by two cents. Revenue came in well above. However, the stock tumbled when they reported uh, first earnings, but then recovered and actually went higher. So uh, actually, uh, there were some uh, comments that uh, that uh, management made uh, that uh, advertisers uh, put, were putting off. Uh, uh, Paying advertisement uh, fees to Snap because of the January uh, uh, assault on the Capitol Hill, uh, Hill and uh, actually privacy changes with Apple. But in general, earnings were very good, and even with uh, very conservative estimates, uh, Snap uh, very uh, very actually aggressive estimates. I'm sorry, uh, Snap actually delivered, and uh, actually I think the shares may go even higher than that. And uh, I would be buying Snap on this weakness, and uh, I actually like Snap. Okay, so like uh, if it goes to like below sixty dollars, I would be grabbing Snap. <coughs> Ford. Okay, so Ford shares are a bit higher pre market, but they reported quarterly profit of uh, surprise quarterly profit of uh, thirty four cents because versus seven cents loss expected. But uh, Ford, they reported that the worldwide. Uh, <coughs> Chip uh, shortages is cutting into product production lines and uh, profits. So uh, actually, uh, the same thing reported was uh, by GM and other uh, manufacturers. Uh, but in general, I like Ford's setup, and I think the shares uh, go higher. But uh, I would be buying more uh, GM than Ford. Uh, Ford kind of to me is playing a uh, like. Uh, as a follower, not a leader. So, uh, so I would be buying GM shares more than Ford, but Ford is also a pretty good buy to me. Okay, Palantir. So Palantir shares are jumping pre-market after reported uh, partnership with IBM that will augment IBM's AI's uh, offering and make them easier to use. And uh, more such partnerships, uh, such partnerships are coming. Um, which was said by COO uh, by uh, of uh, Palantir, and uh, that's pretty good news for Palantir, and I think the shares may actually go higher. Uh, looks like uh, Palantir is firing on all cylinders, and I like Palantir in this uh, environment. Uh, I, I was a bit surprised by uh, IBM, and uh, I thought that they could develop such offering themselves, but uh, looks like they cannot. And uh, so I would be buying Palantir, but IBM uh, would I would not buy. Okay, that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or click the like button and I'll see you Thursday.